The nurses on my maternity ward used to tell my mom they didn't even need to look at my name tag. They just looked for the baby that looked like you could be babysitting all the other babies. <laughs> then two or three nurses would pick me up and bring me into my mother. We're not meant to have 2,700 calories of chocolate in a bowl after we just finished eating. <laughs> when I was a kid at a birthday party once, one of the moms told me, you know, Michael, you can still have a cupcake. Try having a cupcake without the frosting. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. You mean I can still have a cupcake after you take away the best parts? <laughs> cupcake without frosting? Why don't you just give me a puppy without a head? <laughs> so it wouldn't make me cry any harder than a cupcake without frosting. I related to it very easily. It was just so funny. I couldn't say, hey, we should go rock climbing. It'll be great. I'll get a quarter of the way up the mountain. You can give me CPR. It'll be romantic. <laughs> <laughs> It's the people who can eat whatever they want and never gain weight. Oh my God, I'm friends with some of them and it's so hard. You're having dinner with them and they have this mountain of food right in front of them. And they start talking and they're like, yeah, I'm just lucky. I just always be able to eat whatever I want and never gain weight. I don't know where it goes. Where can it go? Where does it go? Oh, maybe it goes into the cold, empty void that's supposed to house your soul. <laughs> It takes a lot of guts to get up there and do that, but he did it with grace and, you know, obviously humor. It was terrific. And my beautiful adult medium made its way to the bottom of the drawer, where I cursed the dryer for shrinking it. <laughs> Fat people have incredibly powerful dryers. <laughs> <laughs> and the worst part was my neighbor was my personal trainer. So suddenly food delivery started to feel like a, like a drug deal. <laughs> Pizza. Kill your you.